D.A. take it away. Thank you very much. Well, it may be hard to remember now, but Joel Embiid did miss his first two seasons due to injuries. He said, it was rough. I think about what I went through and how it prepared me to be a better man. I really feel like I'm the process, and the process is about me. So every time I step on the court, it's all about having fun. I'm just enjoying my time in the league. Kevin, back to you. A lot of depth in there, David. Thank you for that one. It'll be hard for either side to score tonight, Greg. Two lockdown defenses that do it in a variety of ways. I'll tell you what, they're both strong on the ball, in help, and in transition. And both coaches do a great job of making in-game adjustments. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Outside the wings are Curry and Green. The stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. And it's Maxi in at the one. And for New York, sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. And it's Walker in at the point. Now, here's Barrett. Over Green. Barrett, no good. Here's Philadelphia. Curry on the wing. Back to Harris. Fournier pulls it down. There's Walker with the three. Hits it from three-point range. How about the range from Kemba Walker? Boy, he's put in a lot of work to get better. Now, here's Maxi. Defense right on him. And really, the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. First team foul. The 76ers shooting their first free throws of the night. And their numbers from the line last season, they're good, just not great. About 77% as a team. No good on that one. Good on the second free throw. Side Fournier. He takes it in, goes up and lays it next in Fournier. Well, exceptional at giving you that extra burst necessary on the drive. That's pretty. Boy, the game of basketball has exploded in Europe and in one country in particular, France. Evan Fournier has been a fixture on the French national team and he has got some incredible teammates. For Fournier, he's joined in the international competitions by NBA Defensive Player of the Year, Rudy Gobert. Boy, what a great one-two punch for the French, including those two. Nine players from France saw time in the NBA in the 2021 season. Gives you some sense of how the talent pool continues to expand. Incredible. That's good from Harris. And along with terrific production, Harris is an interesting team leader. Very positive in his approach. And Harris drops them both. And Greg, Harris has grown more vocal as his comfort level on the team has risen. And Kevin, he's always had it in him. Now that he's a veteran, he's earned the right. He always seems to bring the guys together. 
children. It's it, 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 be liberating for Walker so. these past first few team seasons, team. not having to do everything himself. Right. He spent eight at years in Charlotte, guys, and carried such a heavy Denver burden Walker night by night, only to make the two playoffs shots. in just two years. But this guy, boy, you love it. Never sulked, never demanded a trade, always a true pro. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. And Kimball Walker traded to the Thunder this offseason, was subsequently bought out before joining the Knicks. Walker and the Knicks seem like a perfect fit. You just hope Walker can stay healthy at this stage of his career. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. Maxi passes to Embiid, and Mitchell Robinson is going to pick Mitchell up the foul. Robinson. That's foul number two for him. That's already this guy's second foul now. He's either going to have to sit or play a bit more conservatively. Noel's checked in for Mitchell Robinson. And here in the first, closing in on two minutes play. Maxi passes to Harris. Just five to shoot. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And it does a world of good for them to have Harris getting busy inside. Gives them that inside-out edge they're looking for. Now, here's Barrett. They get a hand on it, and there's the call on Joel Embiid. That'll be his second foul of the game. Andre Drummond's checked in for Joel Embiid. Coming onto the floor for the Sixers, Andre Drummond. Here's Barrett. And the shot is good. Uh, there's a strength to R.J. Barrett that belies that thin frame. He's got toughness and the willingness to absorb contact. Now here's Drummond. And Drummond throws it down. Well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Pass to Walker. Randall down low, guarded by Kerr. The kick out to Walker. No good from outside. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. Harris's yeah, shot is good. Well, Danny Green excels at recognizing when his teammates have open looks and putting it on the money. Nicely done. Here's Fournier. Tobias Harris picking up that last basket. Back to Walker. New York moving it around. Shot clock at five. It's stolen by Green. And there's the pass to Maxi Over Walker. And the 76ers jack on two more. I think this is an underrated aspect of Danny Green's game. His vision as a passer. Walker in the post. The layup off target. The 76ers have gone 4 of 5 from the field so far. Maxi passes to Drummond. Shoots over Walker. And the 76ers tack on two more. And boy, did he ever sell the pump fake. Worked to absolute perfection. Here's Walker. This game he had 10 points. To stop the run, he lays it in. Walker's got seven points in the game. Now the ball handling is just special from Kemba Walker. This guy goes right by the defender. My goodness. Harris with it. Now guarded by Noel. Fades. Here's Drummond. It's rebounded by New York. Last game matched up with the Magic. A tough loss there. I'll tell you, they played hard, they drew fouls, but they could not convert 
at the line. One of the things that you know when you miss free throws is you're giving the team opposite you all the momentum. You're failing to capitalize on their mistakes. Andre Drummond showing you I am a vertical threat at the club. Look out. Walker against Harris. And Walker kicks to Fournier. Six to shoot. Shoots over Curry. The shot's good from Fournier. What a polished offensive game. Fournier cashing in from the mid-range. And here's Maxi. Harris looking it over. That's to Curry. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Walker. Maxi, no good. Down low, here's Randall. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. And this game is tied up now. The defense is smart to get close to Randall, but he powers through it anyway. Drummond finds Harris. 13 feet away. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Nerland's Noel. Endorsed. You can feel Andre Drummond's presence all over the floor. But it's really on the glass where he is truly at his most dominant. He is nearly unmatched in terms of his rebounding ability. This guy is a multi-time league leader in that stat. He works so hard to secure possessions for his team. throw good Drummond for those teams Greg that had head coaching changes how long does it take to fully implement a new system well it, it typically takes a full season and it also depends just on how complicated the system is but all things being equal the experienced teams often learn faster because they just understand the game better and both free throws good for Drummond if you look at the leaders in rebounding, it's almost a sure thing that Drummond's name is going to be near the top of that list. That's the kind of impact on the boards he's made over his career. Chalk up two there. Well, Evan Fournier is a fundamentally sound player, and if his teammates are open, he will deliver the rock. The 76ers have gone 6 of 10 from the field in this ballgame. Randall against Harris. Tries from 10. He claims that one off the back iron and down it falls. Harris has got his third bucket of the night. And Greg, when it comes to players who've led the league in rebounding, very few have done it as many times as Drummond. And of the guys that have done it more than twice, like Andre, I've got some good news for him. Every one of them is either in the Hall of Fame or soon will be. Now, here's Maxi. Following the miss by Julius Randle. Outside Curry. Drills the three-pointer. And now a five-point Philadelphia lead. No hesitation from Seth Curry on the catch and shoot. You can see the confidence in his mechanics. That's beautiful. Here's Barrett. Green with the rebound. Boy, with his shot not falling right now, it might be time to look in a different direction. See if you can get your teammates started. Here's Truman. That shot off. The Knicks go the other way with it. And a wide open look for Walker. Offensive rebound. Rejected by Harris. And using his long arms there to his advantage. Opponents got to be mindful of Harris's defensive capabilities. Now, here's Maxi, and it's Drummond with the jam. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Here's Walker. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Walker's got nine. This guy is such a natural scorer. Kemba Walker can get it done in any number of ways. Now, here's Maxi, guarded by Walker. Offensive rebound. Here's Drummond. Nice fake, but the layup off the mark. 
The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. Up top, Walker, guarded by Harris. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first person. Let's use this break for a quick look at the squads that really made it happen on the fast break last season. The 76ers third. I mean, it's a crowd-pleasing style, right? I mean, this club just got out and ran at every possible chance. Shooting two. That's good from Walker. You know, I've always had such great admiration for Kemba Walker and his work habits and his basketball skill. But there's also this infectious joy he plays with that makes him one of my favorite players. Looking at who's out there now for the Knicks. Toppin, he's jacked in for Noel. Alec Burks comes in for R.J. Barrett. And it's Rose in for Fournier. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. The 76ers leading by three. Now, here's Thibel. Curry kicks to Kirk Moms. Poke loose. Here's Drummond. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his first person. As a big, you understand that contact is part of the game. Andre Drummond makes his living on tough, hard-nosed basketball. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. They pounded the ball inside in the first half, forcing the D to collapse, and that frees up the shooters going forward. I think the other thing they've had going for them is their passing. Plenty of their baskets have come off assists. That free throw, no good. Boy, Andre Drummond at his size, you would think could be an intimidating presence in whatever environment you put him in. But this guy is gregarious and loves people. He is so open-hearted, Andre Drummond. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for the Knicks. And he's good on the second. Knicks trail by four. Outside Rose. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. How about the body control from Rose? Took it right at the defender and got it to go. To the middle. Here's Curry. Here's Drummond. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Here's Rose, and the Knicks good for two. Well, this guy is such a strong decision maker. Derek Rose with the mid-range jumper. Yes, that's in my bag as well. Here's Korkmaz. Curry looking it over. Going inside, takes the three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Two minutes. Outside Rose. Two minutes. Randall against Drummond. Back to quickly. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Fibel, the pass to Drummond. Curry trying to break free. Makes that one his sixth of the night. Shooting a very healthy six for nine. This is what we call strength from a veteran big man. Andre Drummond, no stranger to taking punishment and scoring through it. And what an alley you Those two read each other so well. It's a play I'm sure they love to run. Passes to Drummond. Rose against Curry. Back to Drummond. Pass to Thibel. Here's the three. Toppin pulls it in. And so it's Randall bringing it up now for New York. Trailing by two. Quickly kicks to Rose. 44 seconds left to play in the first. Well, nice job crashing the glass. You love to see that kind of effort. Here's Korkmaz. Burks covering. Here's Korkmaz. 
He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Over Randall. They get the rebound. Drummond. An easy two points on the way. And the 76ers lead by four. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Rose goes in. Randall right side. And there's the whistle. Three second violation. For the 76ers substitution. Joe. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. From deep three-point range, no good there. Andre Drummond has been on display for the Philadelphia 76ers. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great rebounding. Back to the action after this word. And we've seen the improvement for the Knicks under coach Tom Thibodeau. His star, Julius Randle, defines Tibbs' approach. Cares about you as a human being, as a person. He wants to see you uh, really excel as a player, and he knows that the only way to do that is through the grind, through hard work, through putting the hours and the effort in day after day. So that's his thing. Um, he's gonna push you, push you in practice, push you in workouts, and uh, he's your biggest fan when you're out there on the court. He is indeed in that effort and grittiness, something we've seen from Thibodeau's teams over the years. And Knicks fans recognize that brand of basketball. You think back to the years with Ewing and Oakley in the middle, it fits in the Big Apple. And thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? They set a physical tone in the first, and that really showed on the backboard. I think it's why they hold the lead here early, because they're controlling the flow of the game with those second-chance opportunities. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, we've got Matisse Thibel. Andre Drummond is out there with Cork Mods, and it's Niang in at the four-man position. Now here's Drummond. Over Rhodes. That one a little long. And given Robinson's upside coming out of college, it was a little bit of a surprise that he fell to the second round. And he's more of a classic big that won't stretch the floor. You're not going to run the offense through him. But, boy, you can't teach size and athleticism. And that's what he brings to the party. Here's Joe. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Boy, what a night for Andre Drummond. Effective, consistent on the offensive end. Rose passes to Robinson. It's stolen. Pass break. Here we go. Now the pass to Drummond. Here's Korkmaz. Joe passes to Drummond. Laid in with a nice touch Andre off the glass. Drummond. Drummond's got the lead up to 10 now for Philadelphia. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. Now here's Rose. D right on him. Can't cash in from close range. Boy, that's one he wishes he could have back, especially against soft defense. Now Drummond. One points in the game. That one finds the mark. It's the tenth time he's done that tonight on 14 shots. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Now here's Rose. They could use a bucket. As to Burks. Five to shoot. And that one hits back iron. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. Joe, good. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions 
Right now, they need a basket. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And down the road, Greg, which Who current player might make shirt? for the best coach? Well, I'm always partial to the point guard. And if you're looking for leadership, man, Chris Paul, Mike Conley, those guys I think are destined to coach. I think LeBron would be a great one as well, but I got a sneaky suspicion he'd just rather own the team. Jay Barrett's checked in for the Knicks. Evan Fournier comes in for Rose. Then for the 76ers, Joel Embiid comes in for Andre Drummond. And Maxie subbed in for Matisse Thibel. And Fournier kicks to Barrett. Passes it to Quickly. Shot to stop the run. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Boy, you can just see the frustration growing on their faces. Nothing going their way. It's just been one of those games, and they need to find a way to turn it around before it gets completely away from them. Here's Maxi. He can't get that one. The Knicks go the other way with it. Here's Fournier. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. Driving in. And beat inside. Robinson on him. And foul on the shot. So he'll get a chance at the line. This season, Embiid posted career highs as a score. And Greg, he did it with unbelievable efficiency. And how about hovering around that coveted 50 40 90 club? What's amazing is how comfortable he looks. The defense is never able to speed him up. The free throw drops for MB. You know, Doris, the debate about what makes someone an MVP is always interesting. In your mind, and you're a voter, what are the qualities of an MVP-worthy player? You know, Kevin, one of the things that fascinated me about the most recent MVP selection was some of the slander sent at Nikola Jokic. And I think it had everything to do with him not passing the eye test. And by that, I mean he didn't have eye-popping athleticism. But he was my runaway choice for MVP because he is so highly skilled and he is so valuable to what they do on the offensive end of the floor. He has vision. He has the ability to score the basketball in the paint and outside the paint. He can manipulate defenses because of his high basketball IQ. It was such a fascinating conversation and what a worthy MVP for Nikola Jokic. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Thank you, guys. We have seen today's athletes taking stands for social justice. All-star Bradley Beal says, we understand there will be a backlash, but we don't care about that. I'm a human being, a citizen, just like everybody else. I have family and friends still living in those environments, and I'm their voice. Kevin? All right, David, thank you very much. Now, here's Fournier after the miss from Joel Embiid. Here's Robinson. Good D by Embiid. And the 76ers with possession. It's a 12-2 run here, good pace. Out to the right wing. Knocks it loose. Out of bounds. And that's out of bounds. Philadelphia will retain ball. possession. And here's Maxi. Pass to Joe. Shot clock at six. Embiid against Robinson. Robinson with the block. Wingspan, athleticism, verticality. Robinson with authority sends it back. Next trail by 14. Outside, Walker. The eight-footer. And Embiid with the block. Length plus agility. Great recipe for blocking shots. Embiid's one of the best to do it. To the paint, here's Harris. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. 
Green's got three assists now in this one. I mean, the number of points they've scored in the paint already here is eye-opening. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now, you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Two on none. No one back to stop this. They find Jay on the way. A nice shot by Embiid. Embiid's got four points in the quarter. And this is what makes Embiid so dangerous. He makes stretching the floor look effortless. Walker's shot is off. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Now, here's Maxi. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. And B trying to break loose. Maxi, no good. And here's Fournier. He brings it up for the Knicks. There's the pass to Walker. Now here's Noel. Right side Robinson. Outside Fournier. Walker the pass to Robinson. Noel dishes to Fournier. Over Maxi. Misses off the left iron. Well, certainly not the best defensive effort, but this guy can't make them pay for their laziness. Embiid with it. He's picked up by Walker. Pass to Joe. to Embiid. Out of bounds. New York takes possession. Yeah, simply stated, you have to take care of the basketball, and they don't on that possession. Julius Randle's checked in for the Knicks. Curry's checked in for Philadelphia. New York calls timeout. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. Well, poor rotations, poor communication. There's a lot to figure out right now. And so it's New York with it. It's an 18-point game. Outside Fournier. Wants to get it to Randall and does. Drops in the layup for two. Randall's got six points. Well, that's Randall working in his comfort zone. You can see how confident he is on his ability to score inside. Here's Maxi. Fournier pulls it down. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Curry with the steal. Now, here's Maxi. He's guarded by Fournier. Maxi passes to Green. Here's MB. And they double up MB. Back to Green. Five on the clock. A three-pointer off the mark. Knicks trail by 16. Barrett with the ball. And Curry picks him up defensively. Randall dishes to Noel. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his second person. That one on Harris. Boy, what's better than Nerland's Noel playing with force on the interior? What a big reason he's earned this trip to the line. This is his first free throw of the game. Shooting two. That's good from Noel. And you know, guys, listen, Noel brings value. The reason he's a menace on the defensive end and an absolute warrior on the glass. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Outside, green. Here's Curry. That shot off the mark. The Knicks Joel go the other Embiid. way with it. And there's the call on Joel Embiid. Second team foul. That's his third foul of the game. You know what? Tried to step in and cut him off, but just didn't get there quick enough. Knicks trail by 15. Passes it to Randall. 
and Noel kicks to Walker. Nailed from three-point land. Walker's got 14 points for the game. Wow, look at the way the big man, Noel, set up his guys, puts the pass in the perfect position, easy shot. Maxi passes to Embiid. And he uses the glass on the way. Embiid's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, you like that he shakes off that rocky first period and knocks down a shot. Nice. Walker dishes to Randall. And the call will be against Harris. That's his third foul of the game. And already his third foul. It's got to be time to get him out of there probably until the third quarter. And Noel kicks to Barrett. Outside, Walker. And he got off to a nice start, but has slowed down here in the second quarter. Harris outside. Axie passes to Harris. And the foul the called on Merlin's Noel. Merlin's Noel. That's foul number two That's for him. Two fouls already on him. Foul. That is not the way to get your minutes per game up. Now, here's Maxi. He's tightly guarded. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Merlin's Noel. These are his third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Shooting for Philadelphia, Tyrese Maxey at the line, two shots. He throw good, Maxey. And they have yet to miss a shot from the line here this quarter. Derek Rose has checked in for Kemba Walker. The 76ers also with a sub. Matisse Thibault checked in for Harris. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Rose who brings the ball up for the Knicks. They trail by 16. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two Pass minutes. to Noel. Here's Fournier. Misses in close. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Green kicks to Curry. The pass to Maxi. Pulls it from the elbow. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Pass to Barrett. A minute 20 left to play in the first half. Randall is doubled. Just five on the clock. Barrett against Green. The officials call a traveling violation. It's tough to recover when you continue to turn the basketball over at this rate. And New York making a change here. Burks is checked in. And Philadelphia also making a switch. Korkmaz is checked in. Curry passes to Thibel. Back to Curry. Now here's Thibel. He's defended by Randall. Here's Korkmaz. Green breaking loose. And that one's good. Korkmaz. Korkmaz has got four this quarter. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Outside Rose. Pass to Randall. Over Green. New York, no good that time either. And we haven't seen them get to the line as much here in the second quarter. They might be settling a tad too much offensively. Korkmaz kicks to Thibault. Back to Korkmaz. Shoots over Burks. Second shot opportunity. And it's Noel with the rebound. Noel's got his fifth rebound in this one. 
Pass to Barrett. He dishes it to Rose. To the wing right side. Here's Randall. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers with an 18-point lead as the quarter comes to a close. Their defense has been terrific in this game. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Hey, Kevin, thank you. Joel, an early lead and a lot to like in the performance thus far. Would you agree? Oh, I thought we played great. Defensively, I know that I had someone behind me. If I made a mistake that was going to protect the rim, I thought we did great. We know the adjustments are coming, and we'll see who takes advantage. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. All right, Dave, thank you. And time now for the halftime break with the third quarter soon to follow right here on 2K Sports. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. It was Andre Drummond who got hot in the first. He had 23 points, 12 rebounds, and one assist. And from what we saw so far from the Sixers, Kenny, what's your takeaway? The work they put in on the glass has been the difference maker. Truly an all-hands-on-deck attack. Give them credit for being the more aggressive team. We found it in one of the stats that sometimes gets overlooked, but not tonight. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? They're not shooting it well so far. Actually, they've been terrible. Fellas, I got an idea for them. Feed the post. Let the big man eat. Jeez. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. With a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Andre Drummond has been sensational. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. That takes a level of aggression and a level of focus, and he has brought it all night thus far. And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Philadelphia leading by 18, so with Rose on the bench. Here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Randall and Robinson make up the inside pair. Sharing the wing spots, Fournier and Barrett. And it's Walker in at the point guard position. They grab their own miss. Here's Barrett, second chance shot, and it's good on the layup. Barrett's got his team on the board first here in the second half for the Knicks. Here's Curry. That shot, no good. Excellent D that time from Robinson. Hey, Doris, one thing you can count on with Mitchell Robinson, he's going to make the majority of the shots he takes. All right, think about it. Back in 2020, he shattered the record for highest field goal percentage in the season. Most of his buckets right at the cup in the restricted area. This guy has plenty of time to expand that range, and we know he's working on it. I'll tell you, the combination of the quickness and the handle, Kemba Walker can get separation against anyone. Man, is he fun to watch. Now, here's Maxi. Green, no luck. Boy, that makes him 0 for 3 to start the second half. Not the start you were hoping for here. And the pass to Randall. Outside, Robinson. From deep, Walker. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Curry passes to Harris. Now, here's Maxi. Tight defense on him. Here's Embiid, and the wide-open shot from Green. Connects from three-point range. Green's got himself on the board with three there. Their first basket in four tries. Let's see if that basket gets them going. It can be contagious now. From deep, Walker. And it's Walker again missing. And here's Curry, who brings it up for Philadelphia. They lead by 17. Pass to Maxi. Robinson pulls it in. Only 20% shooting in this quarter. They need to settle down and relax a little bit here. Passes it to Fournier. Embiid against Robinson. Back to Fournier. And Curry pulls it down. 
Curry's got four rebounds now tonight. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Embiid finds Curry. Another three for Seth Philadelphia. Curry. Three yeah, These defenders had better start closing down on shooters. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Back to Walker. Fournier against Curry. Randall is doubled. Fournier that's for two. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. What a skilled finish from Evan Fournier. The experience and the toughness to overcome the defense. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. The Knicks making a switch here. Toppins checked in. Then for the 76ers, Drummond's checked in for MB. And it's George Niang in for Danny Green. And one thing that separates Randall from other guys, his size. That spin move. He can do it off the drive, in the post, now going either direction. Now here is Harris. Ten points for him. That's good. He's five for nine. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. Here's Robinson. The third shot of the possession finally falls for him. Well, this is where Mitchell Robinson can make his impact on the offensive end. Get the put back with that verticality. Pass to Harris. It's rebounded by New York. Robinson's got six rebounds here tonight. And whirling around the floor, uh, Greg, is there anyone Randall reminds you of? I mean, I mean, they're different players, but Akeem Olajuwon had an unbelievable spin move. Takes a lot of body control, especially for taller guys. But when you do it well, man, it is tough to stop. Here's Harris. Mitchell Robinson making his last shot. That's no good. He is 5 of 11 shooting from the field for the game. The pass to Fournier. He kicks to Barrett. Pass to Toppin. Lays it up off the glass. Toppin's got his second best. Excellent concentration by O.B. Toppin. It doesn't matter where he is on the floor. This guy's physical, and he's willing to absorb that contact. On the wing, Harris. Takes the 13-footer. Here's Drummond. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. That's his first person. That is what we call grown man strength. Andre Drummond excels at brushing off the contact and converting anyway. Three trips to the line so far for him in this one. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. Manuel quickly, he's checked in for Barrett. And What's Philadelphia up? also making a switch. Joe's checked in. Knicks trail by 16. Walker with it. 16 points for him. On the wing quickly. Defended by Drummond. Down to five on the shot clock. And that one's good quickly. Quickly's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. Now here's Maxi, guarded by Walker. Outside Curry. Passes it to Joe. Drummond trying to get himself free. 76ers with the new shot clock. Good. Nice job Andre down low. Drummond. Drummond's got five points now this quarter. Andre Drummond understands if I can get to the offensive window, I can put points on the board. Now the feed to Robinson. Tries again. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Defensive foul. George Neal. 
do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the 76ers? And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressive line. They've also jumped at every chance to attack the basket tonight. Just terrific penetration. And the 76ers making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. That one misses for Robinson. Well, I think the team found a steal in a second round pick back in 2018. Mitchell Robinson, big time athlete, big time shot blocker, and I believe he has the work ethic to turn him into an offensive force. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. Has to jump in. Lots of room. It's good. Toppin's got six points. The very definition of a stretch four. Toppin is a knockdown shooter, so vital for the spacing to his basketball team. Now, here's Maxi. Seven points in the game. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Tyrese Maxi. That's his first foul. Derrick Rose has checked in for the Knicks. Second team and now foul. let's revisit that exceptional now, mobile one block. New York and guys, that block Jared could really Rose. help change the momentum of this game. Here is Rose, trailing by 13. Now here's Fournier. He's got seven, stripped it away. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Korkmaz, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. That's his oh, the officials are all over that. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. And from the line a season ago, 73%. At the line, two shots. Take a break, take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. Alec Burks checked in for Evan Fournier. The 76ers also with a sub. Matisse Thibels checked in for Maxi. He hits both from the strike. Knicks trail by 15. Quickly up top. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. They led the game at one point by 20. I'll tell you, it feels all night like this guy's been forcing shots, rushing shots. He's really struggling on the offensive end. Here's Drummond. Yep, it counts. Drummond's got seven now in this quarter. Again and again, they're dissecting the defense and creating those high percentage looks from inside. Outside Rose. That one's not going to go. And Philadelphia the other way now. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Joe. Quickly covering. Joe passes to Thibel. No good on the triple. New York's gone. One of three from downtown since halftime. Quickly kicks to Rose. And he lays it straight in. Rose has got six points. Well, you love the attitude of Derrick Rose. You want to play great defense? No problem. I can still finish. Right wing. Drummond in the post. Guarded by Robinson. The pass to Niang. Six on the shot clock. With his first shot attempt. It's rebounded by New York. Burks in the corner. And again, it's New York. And this is what Burks is out here to do. Shoot the basketball at a high percentage. Really good form. Here's Joe. It's Drummond with the drive. Knicks with the rebound. 
Robinson's got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. Philadelphia so takes possession. And this has been four, a four comedy the of errors. I mean, you can just add another one to the list. The Knicks making a switch here. Noel's checked in. Then for the 76ers, Embiid comes in for Andre Drummond. And it's Seth Curry in for George Nier. No one near Curry as he lets it go. Seth and he's Curry. good on the three ball. Curry's got six points in the quarter. Look at how composed Seth Curry is beyond the arc. Takes a shot like that and knows it's going in. Quickly with a wide open look. Tried to answer back, but that three is off the mark. Here's Joe. He's covered by Rose. Burks against Curry. Pass to Theibel. And stolen by Noel. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two Here's Rose. Banked in off the glass. Rose has got eight points. You see the strong dribble drive. It backs the defense up, and Rose at his best setting up that shot. Outside Curry. High arcing shot. Burks pulls it in. Knicks trail by 14. Passes it to Quickly. Here's Robinson. And the Knicks good for two. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. And so Curry will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They led the game at one point by 20. Embiid, the pass to Korkmaz. Pass to Joe. Eibel on the wing. And a miss there on the triple. That's not his spot, but given the lack of defense, you'd like to see him knock that one down. Here's Burks. A shot missing. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And there's the pass to Joe. And the rejection by Noel. Out of bounds. This is a staple of his game. Norland's Noel sends it back. So for the Knicks, Randall's checked in for Noel. And R.J. Barrett subbed in for Burks. Danny Green, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And it's the 76ers with the ball. A 12-point game. Curry attacking. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. 76ers ball. Here's Curry. Nine points in the game so far. And the foul on Rose. Rose. That's his first, his first foul. Personal. Third team foul. Thirty-two seconds left in the third quarter. Left side Curry. And the jumper is good. Curry. Curry's got eight points here in this quarter. You know, I thought in the first half this guy was pressing. He was rushing. Now he's settled into the game. Count it, and the 76ers lead has been cut down now to just 12 points with the basket from Randall. Philadelphia's gone three of seven from three-point range here in quarter number three. Curry against Rose to the left side wing. Pass to Thibel. The three buries it from three-point range. Korkmaz has got nine. And so it's Philadelphia. Their lead at 15 going into the break. Their strategy has been clear tonight. Work the ball inside, get shots in the paint, and now they are scoring with ease. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. 
And, and I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. And so in the game for the 76ers, the stars of this team in the post, Harris and Embiid. Corkmaz is out there with Curry, and it's Green in at the three spot. Harris finds Curry. Some nice ball movement here by the 76ers. Two open that time, made it look too easy. Embiid's got the first field goal of the fourth quarter here for Philadelphia. Rose against Curry. At the elbow, Randall. Over Harris. Randall no good. Well, seized up just a little bit at the last second. That's when he normally converts. Shoots from the line, and the 76ers Joel. tack on two more. And when Embiid first came into the NBA, you know, folks wondered about his offense, but it became clear pretty fast, though, he can dominate at both ends of the court. Now here's Rose. It's good. Yeah. That basket is now five for nine. Good. I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. Curry passes to Embiid. Kicks it to Green. Harris outside. Embiid trying to break loose. And the basket by Harris. And the 76ers lead by 19. Now Barrett. And to get open is Robinson. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Defensive foul. Danny Green. That's his first personal. First team foul. Working on consistency with that jumper. You can see Barrett has improved his shooting mechanics. Much more repeatable motion now. Kevin Fournier is checked in for the Knicks. Kemba Walker comes in for Rose. Maxie's checked in for the 76ers. And that one falls for Barrett. You can see Barrett looks a lot more comfortable now from every spot, Greg, on the floor. From three mid-range, the free throw line, when he knocks down shots, defenders have to creep up to stay connected. And that's when he can put the ball on the floor and get by people. Now, here's Barrett. Good D by Embiid. The 76ers leading by 16. Green, the pass to Embiid. Good, and it's Green picking up the assist. Green's got four assists now tonight. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Now here's Randall. Robinson kicks to Walker. Lock at six. Rejected by Harris. Fourth quarter keeps moving right along. Three minutes gone so far. And, and whenever Harris is aggressive like this, I think it's for the best. Because he has that ability to attract contact. Philadelphia, Tobias Harris at the line. Two shots. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And if they continue, Kevin, their outstanding free throw shooting, that'll help them seal the deal.
And Harris drops them both. And now that we've gotten a taste of it, Greg, what do you think of the play-in tournament? I, I love it. I mean, it definitely has some pros and cons, and you want to keep as many teams as possible engaged right, down the stretch. But it's a long season, and for some teams, it just got a little bit longer. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. You know, couldn't agree more with this timeout. There are far too many turnovers to get any kind of offensive rhythm. You're just trying to mix things up here. We're in the final quarter of play here. Three minutes in. And Barrett slams it in. Yeah, that's coming with force. R.J. Barrett, nothing you can do to stop that. The 76ers leading by 18. And here's Maxi to the inside. Harris. Randall grabs the board. Randall's got rebound number five here tonight. Barrett against Embiid, and it's Barrett penetrating. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And it's not talked about all that much, but Barrett makes a huge contribution on the glass. Right. He's aggressive. He's instinctive. He has added good weight. And the athleticism to beat people to those 50-50 balls is important. And he makes the first. I think one of the things I most admire about R.J. Barrett's game, he can do a little bit of everything. He can score it, board it, pass it at a high level. This young man can play the game. And so he makes both from the line. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Embiid, no good. Knicks trail by 16. Here's Randall. The shot's good on the assist by Walker. Ten points for Julius Randall. And how about the awareness of Kemba Walker? Make your teammate feel good with a pretty pass, Kemba. From about 16, it's rebounded by New York. Randall's got his sixth rebound on the night. Bobbed up there for Robinson. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Great game for him. Double-double down. Ten points and ten rebounds. Now, here's Maxi. They're recovering. Pass to Green. Randall against Harris. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Robinson. It's on Mitchell Robinson. Drafted late in the 2011 first round, Tobias Harris has been traded a few times in his career. And players like Tobias who can bring shooting and length, they will always be in high demand. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That's good from Harris. That one is no good. Knicks trail by 13. Here's Fournier. And he makes good on the way. And now they're shooting it pretty well. That was not something we would have said in that first half. Outside Curry. Harris against Randall. Up top Curry. Five to shoot. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. And stolen by Fournier. 
Barrett against Green. And here's Walker. He gets it to fall. That makes it just a single-digit lead. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And it's good for two. And the 76ers lead by 11. Offensively, we see Embiid all over the floor. But inside is where he can really utilize that size. Now here's Walker. Randall with the bucket. The plan of attack is obvious. Get the ball inside. It goes strong to the rim. Philadelphia leading by nine. Pass to Harris. The next pull it in. I'll tell you, he's trying to help them extend this lead, but it's been a tough night for him individually. Walker taking his time here. Here's Robinson. Shot clock at six. Out of bounds. Out of bounds. It'll be 76ers ball. For Philadelphia, they've gone 5 of 10, 50% from the field. Out to the wing. Embiid inside. Robinson Joel on him. Embiid. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Well, they're calling his number time and time again, and he is delivering. Now the pass to Robinson. He kicks it to Walker. For the three. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Harris has got six rebounds now in the game. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the charts. Now here's Green. Harris, no good. And since halftime, he has just been ice cold. Just can't seem to get anything to go his way. And so Green will bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They led the game at one point by 20. Now, here's Maxi, And Embiid throws it down. And you put the ball anywhere within a three-foot radius of the rim, and Embiid's going to go get it. And he's also coming with bad intentions. Now, here's Walker. And to get open is Robinson. Walker's shot is off. I'll tell you, it's been a struggle for him in this period, and they're struggling as a result. Maxi passes to Green. Now here is Harris, guarded by Walker. Nice move. And it's laid up and in by Harris. Harris has got seven points for the quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Joel Embiid, that's his fourth personal, third team foul. At the line for New York, Evan Fournier. At the line, two shots. The first free throw is good. You get a little glimpse into the mindset of Evan Fournier. This guy will do whatever it takes to win. And the 76ers making a change here. Korkmaz is checked in. So he gets them both. The 76ers leading by 13. to Curry and here's MB guarded by Robinson outside for Curry just five to shoot that one doesn't drop and New York the other way now at the elbow Randall Forney trying to break loose Randall with the bucket this guy a tough cover for any defender creative and assertive scoring the ball Axie passes to Embiid. Here's Korkmaz. Here at covering. 
Harris against Randall. A nice shot by Harris. Harris has got nine points in the quarter. And it's coming easy for them right now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Walker the pass to Robinson. Walker with it. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And you can see what the emphasis was at halftime here in the second. A lot more effort to get the ball inside, and it's starting to pay dividends. Derrick Rose has checked in for New York. Robinson at the line. One shot. That one misses for Robinson. Philadelphia leading by 11. Here's Korkmaz. Passes to Maxi. Right side Curry. And here's Maxi. And the shot goes in. Nicely done. They continue to attack inside, and that's 10 points in a row in the paint. Here's Robinson, and finished off by Robinson. Now, Julius Randle can do a little bit of everything. That's a great find to get his teammate an open look. Timeout called the 76ers. Take a look at the new balance player of the game, Andre Drummond. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. He got an extra boost from the grief these fans were giving him here tonight. They were riding him hard all night, and he ate it up. Some guys just like being the villain, I guess. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, during that last break, Kevin, I got a chance to hear what Doc Rivers said to his team. He said, this is where mistakes can kill us. This is where mistakes can turn this thing completely around. Protect the basketball and make the simple play. In other words, guys, no hero ball right now. Okay, David, much appreciated. And guys, we've become accustomed to this. Embiid's a dynamic scorer who's comfortable shouldering the offensive load. Pass to Randall. Over Harris. That's good. The Philadelphia lead has got down to 11 on the bucket from Randall. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Now, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Curry against Barrett. Curry kicks to Korkmaz. Over Rose. Again, Philadelphia. And that is the kind of big-time shot that can really deflate a crowd. And did he ever do that? Sound level right now, zero in this arena. Now here's Rose. Here's Randall. Up top, Barrett. It's hauled in by Harris. And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. They led the game at one point by 20. And there's no doubt about this one. Playing with a lot of confidence tonight. It's a statement victory for the 76ers. Their superior ball handling won it for them. And, and fewer turnovers equals greater scoring opportunities. Any coach will tell you that. If you take care of the ball every possession, and this is a perfect example of what happens when you do. And ever win important. And this one will go down as win number three. And you know, when you look at the huge impact he had, just a monster game for Andre Drummond. They simply can't stop him right now. This guy playing with passion and focus. Here's Maxi following the score by Derrick Rose. The pass to Curry. And here's Maxi 
Philadelphia moving the ball around. Randall against Harris. From deep. And the 76ers get it back. Outside Curry. So it's Philadelphia winning this one easily. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Hey, thank you, Kevin. Joel, congrats on the win. A quality win. How did you secure it? Oh, we played. We were tough tonight. We won soft. Uh, we shared the ball defensive, and we were really good. And that's what we got to do the rest of the season. Well, you're building towards something good, man. Congratulations on the win. Kevin? Thank you, David. Great interview once again. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Doris Burke, David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and the rest of our terrific 2K Sports crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long.